Right. This is the this is the second of the Bishopsdorf and Natural Society nature walks, and this one is going to start from Twyford Mill, which is the building we can see in the distance here, and we're going to walk along the river from there. So this is uh, walking out onto Twyford Lane, and uh, here are the old mill buildings in front of us here, uh, and the actual mill race is under the under the road, and here is the. Um, the machinery that would have controlled the flow of water through the mill, through the mill leet. And it's just been pointed out to us that we've got a large eucalyptus tree here. And this is one of the um, lock bypasses which were installed to take the pressure off water going through the mill. And in the summer this is a good place to see fish. Quite often see pike lying in this water here. Sweep of the traditional river stort. I have to tell you this reminds me of my book. Mr. Crabtree Goes Fishing. It looks exactly like a page in that book in watercolour pictures. Yeah, lovely show of colours on this beach hedge here. Yeah. I like this bit here. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> get up a picture of uh, yeah mark inspects the fool's watercress just to ascertain that it is indeed foolish watercress or watercress that's taken for a watercress by a fool who doesn't know any different yeah well i think that's part of the problem that um uh, it's a you know it's a, bl a blue bowl wood in april but equally it was um it has been he has used it has had some antisocial behaviour going on there. Yeah, there we are. Lovely bit of river and the sun's come out, the rain's gone away and the sun's come out. So here we are arriving at uh, Rushy Mead Nature Reserve. Uh, and we just, I think we're just going to walk along the towing path to have a look and see what we can see of the Rushy Mead Nature Reserve, which is the, um, was an old Thames water site for the original sewage treatment works of Bishop Stortford in days gone by. This is a, a great site for Russian comfrey which is still rather incongruously on bloom here at the end of November and it is an invasive plant but it is really good for bumblebees and bees in general and then with the bridge over here bridge over not so troubled water we hope and this is one of the old drainage channels which um, not so long ago and still maybe now there was uh, inhabited by water voles at the, this time of year it's covered in blanket weed and fallen leaves and this is the um, the meadow or one of the meadows and the work party has been here and they've um, do what they always do and cut the Russian comfrey down uh, in a effort to try and um, weaken it so it doesn't completely take over she looks like it might be working a bit really This is one of the viewpoints that looks out over the looks out over this water. Um, you can see in front here somebody's put a barrier here which Mark is peering through, pretending that no bird can see him. And here is a blue tit nest box on the tree. 
and here's a mallard and coots like it here as well but this is one of the old settling ponds on the treatment works they are growing on the bark of one of the old willow trees and amongst the moss are a whole lot of fairy toadstools question is, actually I think it's a summer squirrel's dray isn't it? I think it's a summer squirrel's dray. A bit too big for a bit too big and untidy for a bird's nest isn't it? Just made the observation here that we've got a, a, an old rotten tree, probably. You think it was an oak? I think it was, yeah, it looks like. And it, it's now got a, a silver birch yeah. growing out of it, out of, the, out of the rotten stump. And this is looking across in the distance, we've got um, uh, his alder trees, part of the alder woodland here, and what looks like sallow. A view over the reserve. Yeah, this is uh, a large area of, of alder, alder car, I suppose you'd call it. But it, th th this is exceptionally uh, unusual to get willow trees of this age and size. Um, the, a wet woodland like this is reckoned to have one of the highest levels of biodiversity. Um, it would be a good subject for the Natural History Society to study. Now, turning the corner, we're going into some, a, a, a wooded area now. Uh, we've got to moving away from willow and alder and now we're starting to come across hazel and there's a squirrel and if I remember rightly um, there's an old lane through here I believe somewhere this is these are the old hazel and field maple trees that used to line the the side of a lane that ran through here yeah, here, what we've got here is a, what tree is it, Mark? Is an elm or something? Whatever it is, there's a, um, there's a crotch here, and uh, that's where all the water runs down, and, and in that there's mosses, and yet another colony of fairy toadstools. And here we have yet more little fungi on the base of this tree and here are the old um, these bl black pieces are the the stems of toadstools that have grown out of the tree and fruited and died and um, now at the, at the um, north end of the reserve and here's another meadow which once again is annually cut and raked in the distance you can see where they piled the cuttings uh, this is obviously an old meadow. I don't know how botanically rich it is. Maybe when we come back here another time in the summer, we might see it being an absolute riot of wild flowers. Down here, you should get a good view of the reeds. Oh, did you? Yeah. There's somebody living over there. Yeah, I think thought I saw a tent further back. Yeah. This looks like an old pollard oak here. And here is the, we're coming down now to, this is a, 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 a sedge bed that once again is cut and raked annually by the Essex Wildlife Trust Work Party. Yeah. Ah. It's quite a mosaic, isn't it, of uh, habitat around here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, little patches. Yeah. Old fashioned farming, I guess, which is nice. Yeah. 
But that unit has only been up, I'd say, a couple of years at the moment. Really? You often see it in the area for a long time. I well, I just remember, it <coughs> wasn't, it certainly wasn't there three or four years ago. Really? Yeah. And here we are back on the back on the stort below South Mill Lock. Now upstream from South Mill Lock towards Bishop Stortford indeed. <laughs> this is uh, South Mill Weir, which is really, it's a, um, it is a, um, a safety valve for Bishop Stortford so that in times of heavy rain this um, weir will let the water away from the centre of Bishop Stortford to prevent flooding. Uh, we've walked along the main road and this is in fact the Old River Stort coming under the, the main road here and uh, it will rejoin the Stort below um, South Mill Weir. Now as you can see it's a, a nice gravelly, a nice gravelly, gravelly stream and the biodiversity is probably reasonably high in spite of the fact that we're really quite close to the to the road. Uh, a little bit further on and it will soon be heading, it's just about to go under the railway and there is a duck having a bath. Now we're coming up to the Railway crossing. Oh, no, we're just doing all those bushes. We're doing Bishop's Thorpe Natural History Society. So, uh, yeah, we're doing a, a nature nature walk around the London Stores. Yeah. 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 You've seen it too much. Yeah. You won't. Actually, you should be following the river. Yeah. Well, we've been down the river. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, we've been through a maze. The important thing about this place is you've got to be very careful about not getting knocked down by a train. And um, now on the other side of the railway is um, this, I believe this is called Keynes Pit, which is an old gravel pit, which is now being adopted by the Bishop Stortford Angling Society. Now this passes into a, an old lane, basically, with some nice thick hedges on either side. And this will connect us back through, eventually, to Twyford. Now, out we go onto that area of uh, rough grassland. looks like it's hugely hugely grazed by rabbits by the look of it yeah, and then finally we're back at the little gate which is taking us down to Twyford Mill car park so that's been a 